In the past hours, several media outlets have echoed George Martin's words after he published an article on his website. In this article, George Martin talks about how HBO has shelved some of the Game of Thrones spin-offs since a restructuring of HBO Max is taking place. Many have quickly claimed that this is about the Jon Snow series. But rather than an announcement about the series being killed off, what George Martin is really saying is something else entirely. Although the press has been responsible for giving a tragic tone to his words. In this video we will be analyzing this latest news, and what it means for the future of the Game of Thrones universe. Could it be that Jon Snow's series was really cancelled before seeing the light of day? If you like everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, because we upload videos every day. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. I became the Three-Eyed Raven. Oh. I can see things happening now. All over the world. To understand where this news comes from, we must read exactly what George Martin said, the creator of the books on which the Game of Thrones universe is based, and who is also part of the team working on these TV shows. Some of his words were as follows. Another Christmas has passed, and the new year is just around the corner. Where does all the time go? I confess I took a few days off for the holidays, shame on me. But now I'm back in the salt mine, working on so many things my head may soon explode. Yes, Winter Winds, yes. And House of Dragons, Season 2. And several of the other successor series we are developing with HBO. Some are moving faster than others as is always the case with development. None have been greenlit yet, though we are hoping maybe soon. A couple have been shelved but I would not agree they are dead. You can take something off a shelf as easily as you can put it on the shelf. All the changes at HBO Max have impacted us, certainly. The first thing his words focus on is the fact that he is aware that he must finish Winds of Winter. It seems that this book of the Song of Fire and Ice will arrive this coming 2023 since we see that George is giving it a priority, although, of course, he also mentions that he has other projects. It is exciting to know that George is involved in the second season of The House of the Dragon and that he has not left his job of supervising the story, which assures us that we will have a second season as good or better than the first one. In the last seasons of Game of Thrones, it was clear the distancing of George, which in the end was reflected in the story. Therefore, it is always good news to know that George is involved. But what many have been concerned about, is when he talks about other shows in the Game of Thrones universe, especially the part where he mentions that some shows were archived. But we must analyze his words carefully. George says, We are working on several of the other successor series that we are developing with HBO. There are several series that have been mentioned that are in pre-production. As is the Nymeria series, which takes place 10,000 years before Game of Thrones, the Coralie series, which takes place during the events of the House of the Dragon, some animated movies about the unknown regions of Essos, especially the Yeti area, and the sequel to Game of Thrones, Snow. Nymeria is not a successor series, since it takes place in the past. Nor could the Coralie series be considered a successor series, since it takes place before Game of Thrones, and simultaneously to the House of the Dragon. The fact that Martin mentions that they are working on successor series, but that they have not yet been approved, could mean that apart from the series we know are in pre-production, there could be more ideas on the table. Perhaps a series about Arya, or some other character, would serve as a successor program. But what does he mean by there being programs that have been shelved? Obviously, we can't rule out that any program has been shelved, including the Snow series. But, Snow is a project that Kit Harrington brought to the table with his own staff. 
It would appear that George Martin is talking about projects that he had submitted or had been working on. We know that there are several archived programs about the Game of Thrones universe, this is not breaking news. We know that there is the pilot of the Long Night series, the same show that pretends to explain the origin of the White Walkers. George could be referring to this, that these are shelved shows, but HBO could pull them off the shelf and give them another chance. Although the press has taken this as negative news, we should really analyze George's words as he talks about how the restructuring of HBO has affected everyone, but how he still doesn't give up hope that these successor shows can be made. It is also interesting that George mentions several of these programs are more advanced than others. Perhaps there are projects that we don't even know exist. Now, the restructuring of HBO Max comes with cost cutting. Programs like Westworld paid the consequences and will be eliminated from the platform. So we must see these changes as strategic economic moves, and I will make an analysis of the past in order to predict what the future will be. The first thing we must take into account is that Warner cancelled the series about the Long Night because it was not similar to Game of Thrones, and they thought it was going to push the fan base away from the series. On the Long Night, there were no thrones or noble families fighting each other, it was going to be a war of humans against mythological beings. The House of the Dragon arrives as the formula Warner wanted. It had the throne back with surnames we already knew. Understanding this, we can assume that the Corley series could be the first at risk, as it would focus on Corley's travels through Essos, and perhaps strays too far from the Game of Thrones concept. Snow would be the safest bet for Warner, because although the throne was destroyed, he has something that the House of the Dragon did not have, and it has an already established fanaticism for the character. Snow represents much more money for Warner than the House of the Dragon represented, so I do not think that the restructuring of HBO will affect the chances of this series reaching the screen. What does concern us is that other shows with other innovative ideas will be rejected, for lack of recognizable characters, or elements that some Game of Thrones fans want to see. We look forward to hearing more news about which shows will finally get the green light, and which will remain shelved. Let me know what do you think about this news. Which series do you think will be shelved, or which one could come out of those shelves to have a chance? Leave me your opinion in the comments. If you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all the videos. If you want to know everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven